Jamaica is often said to hold the world's record for the most churches per square mile. There's a public place of worship for almost everyone, unless you're gay. If you are, you must worship in secret. Reverend Robert Griffin, a gay American minister, flies to Kingston once a month to lead this underground service. It has never been televised before. We had to operate uh, underground because of the hostility towards the gay and lesbian community here in Jamaica. You, know, you don't have a church building, you don't even have a tent where everything is literally in a box. You have your candle holders, you have your chalice, you have your, your communion way, everything that takes to make what church looks like on a Sunday, and it comes out every week, set up church and take it back down. Because to do otherwise, I think, would invite harm, it would invite danger to the congregation. God loves us because guess what? God created us. And God did not create us just to sit around and hate us because we choose to love someone of the same gender. I don't believe God made anybody homosexuals, just as if I don't believe God made anybody a thief. Bishop Harold Blair is one of the leading religious figures in Jamaican society and one of the few local voices who has condemned violence against gays. However, he does not believe that Jamaica will ever or should ever accept openly gay lifestyles. Jamaica is a homophobic society. Uh, they, we grew up to dislike homosexuals. We grew up to hate homosexuality, and you'll notice what I've just said. Growing up as a young preacher, at, by the time I was about 30, my four boys were, were already born. And I, I said then I would give my life for them. And there were two things I would never allow anybody to do to my boys. And that was to turn them into homosexuals and to give them drugs. Dr. Robert Carr, the executive director of the Caribbean Vulnerable Communities Coalition, has spent many years studying the roots of homophobia in Jamaica. It's somehow it's become completely acceptable, and not just acceptable, it's become appropriate to have really negative attitudes about gay people. They see it as part of Jamaica's natural uh, cultural history and national uh, identity, and they see it even as, as appropriate for Christian values. Anti-gay sentiments seem to permeate all levels of Jamaican society, and most people refer to the Bible to justify these beliefs. I say it's morally wrong. I look at the Bible. It's biblically wrong. We are, we are Jamaican, Jamaicans, um, we are quite religious people. The thing with Jamaicans is, even though we don't like it, at the end of the day it's your choice, but don't bring it to our face yes, and put real. it in front of us. We don't want to see that. They try to change They're you. They're out there with you. You're supposed to accept it. And, and, and whatever you do, I'll be in your face, I am gay, and there's nothing you can do about it. People in Jamaica don't like that. And if, you, if you're against something, you're going to, the ignorant people, as what Derek said, they're going to get very radical, and people are going to start dying. God's concept is an Adam and an Eve, a man and a woman, for continuity of the human race. And I hate the act of homosexuality, because it has the possibility within it cause the human race to become extinct. I think the debate on homosexuality in Jamaica will need to begin with a religious community. Society here looks to the pulpit for its direction. Ministers are on some level endorsing violent acts, calls for murder, call to incite riots. For example, when a minister stands in a pulpit here and says uh, homosexuality is a sin and uh, homosexuals should be killed because that's what the scripture says. My comeback to that is uh, let's look at some of the other scriptures that says what thou shalt not do and why is it that we continue to hold that one particular verse up higher than other verses in that particular section of the Bible and how dare we preach taking another human's life. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And I know that there are angels all As the gay community become more visible, more organized, more present, and begin to ask for, you know, not, not for gay rights, but begin to make, ask for, you know, we, we need protection, uh, that there's gonna be a pushback and there's gonna be a, a, a backlash. Because uh, we're, here, we're all here. Uh, this is Jamaica. For Jamaicans who have chosen not to leave, this is their country. 
and for, and I mean that specifically for the gay community. You know, they, they, a lot of them have chosen to stay here and to 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 to, to fight the battle. Uh, and so, how do we support them in fighting that battle to say to the religious leaders, let's call for an end of this this public violence towards us, because we're not leaving. We have to stay here. It's our country. For World Focus, I'm Lisa Diajari.